Welcome to I Care, I Volunteer, a special series focusing on volunteerism in Peel Region. I'm your host, Jackie Vieira. On today's program, we'll be discussing corporate team volunteering opportunities offered by Volunteer NBC. Later in the show, we will meet with representatives from the YMCA, Tangerine Investment, the Peace Ranch, and UPS Canada. Joining me now are Adrienne Beaudry, the Manager for Volunteer Engagement and Programming, and Ebony Wright, the Coordinator for Community Engagement. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for having us. Of course. And so, talking about employer-supported volunteering, um, we've seen you know, a lot of companies take part in this, go out into the community and volunteer, but what is your initiative about? Well, um, really, there's so many companies these days who want to demonstrate their commitment to the communities that they they serve, that their employees live in and work in and play in. I think a lot of them also recognize that their staff are already volunteering in the community and they want to sometimes uh, make connections and links based on where their employees are already volunteering or as part of their strategic priorities or strategic direction of their company. A lot of companies do have specific causes that are in alignment with their business and they want to do things in the community to support that. It's a great opportunity for them to get involved, create new partnerships, open doors and, and give their employees experiences that they might not usually have. Okay, uh, so I know that some companies do get involved with, you know, park cleanups or, or even renovations uh, or painting, you know, homes, for example, but what other initiatives can companies get involved in? The, you know, I think uh, one of the really wonderful things these days is that nonprofits and companies, for-profit companies, are working together very much in partnership to find and tailor make opportunities that meet the needs both both of the not-for-profit agency as well as the goals of the company. And so, yep, there's still opportunities to go do a park cleanup or a beautification. Uh, we've worked with some companies where we've done beautification of neighborhoods, and it's great. Uh, not everybody wants to do that. Sometimes companies have really specific skills or goals that they want to bring and when they're able to work with the agency and working with us to help them connect to those agencies, we can really help create tailor-made opportunities. So for example, last year we had a company call on us that they wanted, they wanted to do something to celebrate the, the winter season and Christmas and holidays and uh, so we were able to connect them with the local seniors residents and uh, the company, you know, they had different opportunities so some of them they baked and made cookies and some made Christmas tree ornaments and others they had, you know, karaoke and singing Christmas carols to whatever degree of success that was. Um, but you know, all in all, everybody had a great time. It op opened, um, opened the eyes for the staff as well that volunteering isn't just painting walls or cleaning up a garden. It was getting to know the residents at this senior's home. Um, and you know, could lead to ongoing volunteer opportunities for those individuals. So some of the staff left and they might not have gone back there, but others certainly called back and came and continued to volunteer, which was really exciting. Lots oh. of fun too. Okay, and uh, so Ebony, if a company is thinking about taking part in an event like this, uh, what do they need to do first? Uh, so on Volunteer NBC, we have an employee volunteering program page, and there we have our corporate engagement request form that a corporation can fill out. Um, two ways that we focus on helping corporations in the community is uh, by self-directed. So uh, we do have a bank of uh, uh, nonprofit organizations with us that offer corporate opportunities. So we would generally give that information to the coordinator so that they can follow up and connect with the organization. And for a nominal fee also, we can uh, take on the coordination. Uh, so we would contact nonprofits on their behalf to uh, figure out a date and time that's suitable for both. Oh, okay. And uh, what should a nonprofit, for example, who would like to see a company engage or, or volunteer at their site, what do they have to do? Um, to make that happen? Uh, so for a nonprofit, um, a few tips I can suggest is one, uh, to be flexible. Um, generally, uh, corporations have to work with different staff schedules in different departments, so it's important to take that in con into consideration. Um, also, I would say to think of new ways uh, to engage employees. So uh, generally, 
uh, nonprofits will think of traditional ways uh, such as, uh, let's say that they, they had a community garden maybe that they wanted to bring a team in, but there's other ways that corporations can help. So for example, if um, they were having an event that they wanted to put on in the next month, maybe having a corporate team come in to help them kind of plan the event and logistics would be a great idea. And um, especially on the day of the event, uh, it's very important to give the corporation um, an orientation to the organization, what they're all about, what they do, and uh, very important to also highlight the impact that they're making just by being there on that day as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering uh, if Volunteer NBC has had their own, you know, uh, corporate uh, volunteer opportunity together where members of, of your uh, organization took part in an event. Has that happened or is that something that's... Uh, yeah. Actually, uh, we just did um, with uh, United Way. Uh, mm -hmm. We went as a team uh, to take part in their uh, launch for their campaign. Um, and that was a great event. That was a great event. Um, some of us uh, went around and we were um, helping with the gardening and uh, some of us were packing backpacks and some were painting as well. So together as a team, we, we definitely did that and enjoyed that. I see, okay. And so if a company wanted to get uh, perhaps more information about Volunteer MBC, uh, about the Employee Volunteer Program, yep. what would they have to do? What are the steps? Um, a few tips for corporations. I would say uh, first, it's very important to also be flexible, um, keeping in mind that organizations usually have uh, pre-scheduled events that they may have for a few months. So it's important to understand that. Um, also, it's important to raise awareness within the company itself um, of the, um, the date and of the organization, uh, just to get everyone um, excited. Uh, it's also important to... Um, Hype it. Hype it. Hype it. Yes. You know, I, I think in a lot of cases, volunteering, we think it's got to be serious and it's got to be, you know, it's meaningful and so we can't have fun. Yes. But the reality is, you're out, you're in the community, you're making an impact. Have yes. fun, enjoy it. And when the company has uh, made that partnership with the nonprofit, yeah. bring the, the nonprofit in so that employees understand, oh, okay, these are the stories and this is, you know, as Ebony's saying, this is the impact that we're making and this is why we're doing what we're doing. So it's not just, woohoo, I get a day out of the office. Mm -hmm. It's, woohoo, look at this impact and how I'm changing lives in the community. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with that, you know, that yep. positive, I guess, uh, action or reaction, I should say, what has been uh, the feedback that you've received from the companies or even the employees that took part in this? What have they said to you? Uh, I would say for employees, um, not thinking that they would actually enjoy the opportunity, but after the day is done, they realize, oh wow, just by simply doing this, I've made such a difference. So mm -hmm. uh, I think it's that, that perception that, oh my gosh, I remember being surprised actually one of uh, a volunteer that I was chatting with he had actually in his annual performance goals uh, he had set volunteer engagement as one of his performance goals or it was how he was going to you know strengthen his leadership skills so in-house in the company he got involved involved with the committee that was planning the community outreach day and and so it he leveraged that which was incredible because volunteering is altruistic yes. but I don't think we always recognize and value what we as individuals take from it so yes it is a, that impact yeah. but yes strategically corporately I'm accomplishing my goals I'm developing whether it's leadership skills or whatever it is and it also changes the changes the way your colleagues see you mm -hmm. if you work in a certain department and that's your role that's how they see you mm -hmm. whereas when you're in a different role in a different setting it's a different facet of, of your personality and your skill set that your colleagues and potentially your CEO, your director mm -hmm. is, is getting to see, which is nice. Exactly, and it's a great bonding experience uh, yes. going out there with your employees and, 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 and doing uh, some good out in the community as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of pluses with this. Yes. Well, all right, well thank you ladies so much for being here and, and sharing uh, all this information with us. We're actually just gonna take a short break, but we'll be right back with more on I care, I volunteer.
Welcome back to I Care, I Volunteer. I'm your host, Jackie Vieira. Here with me now, our General Manager for Volunteer Development with the YMCA in, Gr in Greater Toronto, Fiza Van Zant, and Community Investment Manager with Tangerine Investment and YMCA Volunteer, Jacqueline Eames. Thank you for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. Of course. Hey, you did that in sync. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, first, Avisa, I'm actually going to ask you about um, the YMCA itself. How did it actually get connected with Volunteer NBC? When Volunteer NBC was just an idea and getting ready um, to launch in Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon to serve the Peel region, their soon-to-be executive director, Corrine Strong, came out to all of the other um, organizations that had connections with volunteers. Um, in southern Ontario. So we met Corrine before Volunteer NBC opened and were able to be one of the first members to support the Volunteer Centre. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And, and so the YMCA, it's been around for a very long time, offering all sorts of, you know, programs, uh, you know, swimming and all, all of that. So I'm just wondering, uh, you know, what kind of volunteer opportunities are available at the YMCA specifically? Yeah, so we actually just celebrated our 160th anniversary and we plan to be around in communities for at least 160 years more if we can. We offer a lot of programs, so we do have a gym and swim, which most people know us for, but a lot of people don't know that we also offer a lot of childcare. So in Peel region alone, we have 70 childcare centers. We have seven day camps, including the camp that uh, Jackie and her colleagues at Tangerine volunteer with us at. And we also have two health and fitness centers, one in Mississauga and one in Brampton. And we also offer employment services at some of our employment centers in Peel Region as well. So in all of those areas, we have volunteers that help in childcare. We have volunteers that help delivering workshops in employment centers. We have volunteers like the ones we have at Tangerine that help us to enhance our campsite. Um, and they've helped us over the last three years to uh, provide enhanced and better camping services for thousands of campers in Peel Region. Okay, and, and so uh, just touching on that, uh, mentioning Tangerine, I'm, I'm wondering about uh, perhaps what other uh, initiatives or what other programs that uh, employees or I employers can bring their employees there and have them volunteer. Yeah, well, we, you know, we love working with our corporate partners in the community. Um, you know, our mission at the YMC and our vision is to be home to the healthiest children, teens, and young adults. And companies like Tangerine, who also have um, a real need and a real strong want to support children in the community, are perfect partner for us. So we'll work with anybody. If it's a small company that really wants to just bring a group of employees for a day, they can do something like uh, volunteer to host workshops at an employment center. They might do something at a child care center where they work with children on a special theme day. We've had people come in and be do a Pirates and rock stars theme day, things like that. Um, and then we have really specialized opportunities for uh, partners like Tangerine where we get together and we plan it takes months and months of planning to do amazing things like building a campfire pit from the ground up in one day or building a brand new outdoor maze for campers to use in a single day and those are um, opportunities where we have you know close to 200 volunteers coming out for a single day supported by their employer okay and so uh, Jacqueline uh, just to get your perspective uh, because you are employed by Tangerine Investments but you're a vo you've volunteered at the YMCA. I'm wondering about some activities that you've taken part in. I am very lucky. I'm one of the few employees that can say I've been at every single YMCA volunteer day that we've had there. So over the past three years, we've actually held sort of five large-scale volunteer events at uh, Camp Cedar Glen. We've had anywhere from 75 to 250 employees come out for a day. And the tasks every day range. So some days we're rebuilding the maze. Uh, so it was going to fall down and not be able to use anymore. Yeah. Uh, so we helped rebuild it, um, both providing all of the materials for the build, but then also providing the manpower to bring it out and make it happen. We've done you know, staining, helping remove invasive species, um, other installing stairs, and just getting the camp ready. So doing general things like painting or clean up and getting it ready for the summer season, as well as helping it take down in the fall. And, and w was this something that, uh, you know, would you say like employees 
you know, speaking from your experience, actually look forward to? This is one of the few things that our employees really look forward to. Mm -hmm. So when we came out with our volunteer and our, our community investment program four years ago, we really focused on the fact that employee engagement through the volunteer program was going to be essential to making it successful. And through that, we have a goal that every year, every employee spends a day volunteering in the community. So we see a thousand employees across Canada giving back to the community at least 8,000 hours of time, but usually more than that. Okay. Wow, that's 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 impressive. Uh, I guess what benefits can a corporate team gain by volunteering at the YMCA? So our focus on it is that it not only brings uh, together our employees, it gives them an opportunity to team build outside of the normal business walls. It gives them a chance to get to know each other on a personal level, mm -hmm. but it also allows them to build things like leadership skills. So we're naturally selecting people who may not have an opportunity on their day-to-day -day work schedule to be a leader, and we're picking them to lead a team through all the activities for the day. Or, you know, choosing people who haven't necessarily had an opportunity to be painting, and we've taught them how to paint, and now they're going home and painting their own projects. Or getting involved in other volunteer opportunities where they can give back those skills as well. Okay, and uh, what makes it so worthwhile for you, I mean, for volunteering? You devote so much time to it. <laughs> Um, from an organization perspective, it's really important to us to be involved and to be seen in the community. So the best way to do that is to be getting there from the ground, the roots up, and uh, giving back directly to the community. So it gives us a chance to you know, build great partnerships with organizations who are in the communities, but then also to, for our employees to feel and be a part of their own communities, both where we live and where we work. Mm -hmm. And Faiza, I'm wondering about, you know, uh, because not, not every business or, or company has you know, uh, so many employees to look after. I'm wondering about like smaller companies, smaller businesses. Have they also approached you or come to the YMCA interested in volunteering? Most definitely. So throughout the year, we'll have any, uh, where between five and 200 people coming out on behalf of their organization. Um, and it's really dependent on what the organization wants to offer. We really want to meet people where they're at and, and meet them at their highest level of contribution and be able to take that energy and see if we can work together to build healthy communities. So, you know, if there's anybody in the Peel region that's interested in uh, working within their community to help improve it, give us a, a call at the YMCA. You can go to our website, uh, which is www.ymcagta.org. And if you look on our volunteering section, we'll, we take you through step by step as an organization how to get involved. Okay, excellent. And uh, have you yourself uh, actually taken part in a volunteer exercise uh, with the YMCA or even on your own, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I've been a volunteer my whole life. Um, and now I have like, the great fortune to be doing this work for the YMCA, managing their volunteers. Um, so part of my day-to-day -day job is actually um, going to different volunteer activities and being able to help organizations like Tangerine have a successful corporate volunteer day. And also in my private life, of course, I, I volunteer as well. And for me, it's a really great way to stay on top of and stay in tune with why people are volunteering, what they're attracted to in terms of volunteering because it changes and as our communities change as their needs change the way people want to give back changes as well okay and so to to reach out to you again it's at the website at yeah. ymca yes ymcagta.org awesome yeah. okay well thank you very much ladies for being here today it's a pleasure yeah thank you and uh we're actually going to take a short break but we'll be right back with more on i care i volunteer Welcome back. 
I'm joined now in studio with the property manager at the Peace Ranch, Sue Morling, and UPS Canada employee and Peace Ranch volunteer, Samantha Mota. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Hello. Thanks. Of course. Uh, so first, uh, let's talk about the Peace Ranch. Uh, to be honest, I, I just read about this recently, uh, learning about it, and not many people probably are, are like me. I've not heard of it. So what's, what is the Peace Ranch? What is going on there, Sue? Okay, Peace Ranch started um, about just a little under 25 years ago, um, and it was, uh, it's a home, uh, supportive housing, and a day program for people with serious mental illness. Um, a group of uh, family members back in the early or late 90s um, decided to build this facility because they believed uh, being out in the natural environment in the rural area it was, was a lot more uh, less stressful and um, helpful for overcoming uh, mental illness. Mm -hmm. And uh, if facilities like this, they, I don't think they exist. Uh, at least <laughs> I haven't heard the, of facilities like this. There are a number. Um, of facilities that use similar um, uh, attributes like gardening and, and farm animal care and things like that in mental health, but we're very unique, especially in Ontario and throughout Canada, um, that we have gardening, we have animals, we have uh, health, um, eat healthy eating, fitness, it's all rolled into one, but it's on a rural property in uh, North Peel in Caledon. And so how did Peace Ranch and Volunteer NBC get connected? How did that happen? Well, we're, we are a registered nonprofit, and so when Volunteer NBC started, we, uh, we jumped right on board with them, and um, we've had a, a great relationship since uh, it started. Okay, and uh, so th what types of roles, I guess, can volunteer, uh, volunteers rather um, take on at the Peace Ranch? Peace Ranch, we have, um, we have community volunteers that come from uh, utilizing the Volunteer NBC site, um, and that's individuals. And then we also have the corporate groups, which this is what, where I met Sam. Um, they come through Volunteer NBC or United Way, or they can call up directly and say, we have a group, we want to do something together, and can you, can you help us out? And so usually we're pretty flexible because we can take larger groups. We have 26 acres, mm -hmm. lots of, you know, there's buildings, there's areas, there's uh, outdoor work, there's indoor work. So mm -hmm. we can, we're pretty flexible with larger groups. Other groups sometimes, other agencies can't take that many people. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering about uh, the specific roles. Uh, so is it upkeeping like the outside, like the acres, like cutting grass, for example, yeah. or is it more Well, intense? we have lots of gardens. So uh, in the summer, it's a lot of gardening, uh, weeding, um, but we do have a barn. So if people, a lot of people, um, when they hear about the barn, they're like, oh, I used to do that when I was a kid. So they go down, they clean out the barn, and they visit with our animals. We have sheep, goats, alpacas, a pig peacocks, you know, <laughs> yeah. something for everyone that it's, it's very interesting and unique. And so the, that's the barn work. Um, and then we can also get people to come in uh, to teach uh, art mm -hmm. uh, or facilitate a fitness program um, or do a special event. Um, Sam and her group came for our Sprinter Fest in the spring and for our open house. So that's, those are extra days we put on to either involve the community or involve other agencies to come out and, and partake in all our activities at the ranch. Oh, I see. Okay, so Samantha, so you, you took part in this. Uh, what was the activity or, or what was your role there at the Peace Ranch? On the day we went to Sprinter Fest, there was a couple different stations set up, so our UPS team came in. I actually helped out in the barn that day, so helping out with the animals, Rosie the pig, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the alpacas, yeah, so that's what I did. But there was also, they were doing maple syrups, um, suckers, oh. they had uh, the, what did you say, the bonfire? Bannock and Bonfire. Bannock Bonfire, right. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that was good. And there was an art and craft there as well, so it was and very nice. And was this your first time volunteering at the Peace Ranch? or That would be my second time out. My first time was last October for their open house. Yes. And again, there was a lot of uh, different stations and activities. So I was originally at the, actually at the top of the driveway directing people, giving people to sign in the guest book. But yeah, went down and checked all the other activities out as well. Okay. And uh, how, how did you feel after volunteering there? What did I you take away from it? I took away from it, I felt satisfied just to help somebody that actually wanted my help, so it was a nice feeling. I like what it, they do out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see too many programs out there offering those services, so it was really nice. It's a nice feeling out there in the country. Oh, I see. Okay. And um, 
do you feel uh, like, do you think it was worthwhile doing this? Like, would you see yourself doing this again at the Peace Ranch or? Yeah, I've been out twice to two open houses in the Sprinter Fest and, you know, we had an opportunity through UPS, our UPS Foundation, we, I got a, a thousand dollar grant and I gave it back to Peace Ranch because oh, I really like what they're doing out there. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm wondering, um, because there is, you know, perhaps so many uh, people that perhaps will, uh, take part in this, uh, employees and, and corporate groups, mm -hmm. um, do they have any interaction with um, the right. residents yes. at the Peace Ranch? Yeah, so um, I always, that's our, our main goal, is to interact, get community people together with our residents and participants, because our social rec program is to be able to provide that opportunity and it's great because our participants w w showed probably Sam the ropes down in the barn you know this is what you yeah. do this is how you feed them and and if they do this push them back you know and so um, it's great because it gives our participants and residents um, an opportunity to, to share their knowledge. Okay and uh, what has been the response I guess from uh, the people who have taken part in this the the employees themselves have taken part in oh, volunteering the other, activities. Uh, well, we we have um, have had a number of groups: um, Hershey's, Rico, Baxter, um, Target, and and the the best response I get from corporate groups is that they ask to come back, and they returning people come back, or they'll bring their their workmates that well maybe they couldn't make it out that day they got too busy they had too many meetings and then they're like you gotta not book a meeting you gotta <laughs> you gotta come to Peace Ranch and they always leave feeling so um, engaged and, and, and motivated um, to, to come again and, and, it, and really it's our natural environment that, that does it you're outside you're working you're getting the fresh air you're working with the animals or the mm -hmm. garden and plants and it's just it, that's that's our best thing that we have at, at Peace Ranch is mm -hmm. nature's our nurturer. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm wondering about um, you know the facility itself. I mean, you said it was 26, 27. Yeah, 20, 25, 26 acres, acres. and it's it's a, um, a a heritage home um, that has uh, it's been renovated in the when the first uh, people started it. Uh, it's got 10 bedrooms and one of our rooms is for respite care for the Dufferin area. So if there's someone in trouble that maybe can't take care of themselves or they're just lost for a little bit, um, we'll take them in and get them sorted out and then mm -hmm. they're, they're soon on their way. Um, so if somebody wanted to volunteer at the Peace Ranch, how would they do that? Where's volunteer the NBCs are our best um, mo way of getting to uh, getting to us, um, but you can call us direct too. We have our website, and it, it is on Volunteer NBC site. Um, but it's www.peaceranch.com. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies, for sharing all your information and your stories here. And uh, that's it for now. We're. We're at the end of the show, but I'd just like to thank you and thank all my guests for being here. And I'll see you next time on I Care, 